Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chew Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will be tackling another pattern question. Okay, so let's get to the question. So the question tells you that there's this long sequence below. How many digits have been used all together? Okay. How many digits? Okay, so let's look at the pattern and break down the pattern. So you'll notice that there is one one. There is also two two. Okay, there are three threes, four fours, and all the way up to ten tens. Okay, so actually, how many digits have been used over here? You'll notice that this is just one digit. Okay, how many digits have been used over here? This must be two digits as well. And the third one, you'll notice that you also have three digits, right? Okay, because three plus three. So you actually notice that this is a simple pattern, okay, which is just one plus two plus three all the way, okay? However, you'll notice that because the question is asking you for digits, you need to ask yourself, okay, for this long one over here, which is the ten tens, this is actually not 10 digits, okay? This is actually 10 plus 10 digits, okay? This is actually 10 plus 10 digits. Why is that so? It's because you have 10 ones and 10 zeros, which makes up the number 10, okay? So therefore, we can straight away find the answer already, okay? So the number of digits used Okay, this is simply equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way until 9. Okay, because 9 is still 1 digit. Okay, and when we plus 10, we have to plus this over here, which is plus 10 and plus another 10. Okay, and from here, you'll be able to solve it straight away. Okay, using some sort of Gauss method, okay, or some will know it as the rainbow method, okay. So you notice that 1 and 10 will give me 11, 2 and 9 will give you 11 as well, okay, and you actually have a total of 5 pairs, okay, within from 1 to 10, which means your total number of digits used is simply equals to 11 which is the sum of the first and the last times the number of pairs, which is times 5, but you still have to plus the last guy over here, which is plus 10. Okay? And once you work this out, 5 times 11 is simply 55, and all you got to do is just to take 55 plus 10, which will give you the answer 65. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.